Hello everyone and welcome back to Small Prince Gaming. Today I am really excited to announce that we're going to do a playthrough of Until Dawn. Um, so I know I'm also at the same time doing Telltale's Game of Thrones um, on the days where uh, on the uh, days where this um, doesn't get posted. But hear me out. I promise I play things that are not I play things other than these types of games. I promise I do. However. This game is incredible and beautiful, and I know everyone in the all the other Let's Players in the world probably have their own versions of it. But what I'm going to try to do is um, do a perfect run of this game. Um, I already played a home game of this, so but it was like almost a year ago. So what we're going to try to do is play a game where no one dies, and then we're going to play a game where everyone dies. <laughs> so hopefully it'll be really fun. I really love this game so much. I think it's absolutely incredible. It's so beautiful. The animation is like really, really good too. And I know they, um, it was like really interesting to watch because, you know, when you finish the game, it unlocks all the, uh, extra content and it's just so good. So, so good. Such a good game. Such a unique story. I think absolutely incredible. I just like, I just, I'm in love with it. So, Without further ado, let's start until dawn. Uh, yes, I do want to do that because I. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. <sighs> so wonderful. I think I mentioned this before in other playthroughs, but I am like a total sucker for any game that's like, that puts a player in an active decision making in the game. Where it's like, anything that's like, your actions, your choices change the story, I am so there. <laughs> On him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Sorry about that. Um, I just realized that the it would be better to watch it on this computer than the TV. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. My girl. There she is. This weekend. Josh. She's also my girl. Oh, okay. Now it's me. Um, oh. Sorry, there's like a delayed reaction to it. I'm trying to get used to it. Um, I'm gonna go look at this thing. Mm -hmm. 
You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Winky face Mike XXX. All right. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Okay, so... Just kind of... Can I talk to them? Also, her outfit? Very cute. Oh, jeez. Camera change. <laughs> Death self. Um, to look... Okay. So, R2... Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Sweet baby child. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Find others. There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! After her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh. Uh, fast. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, X. Sorry, this is really hard because I have to like watch the TV to see what I'm doing but the sound is in the computer so I'm looking at two screens right now it's kind of messing me up a little bit not gonna lie uh follow noise damn it Hannah where are you I thought I saw her go that way. Okay, and um, flashlight. Another thing that's really cool is that um, you control the camera, and but all the characters they typically have their phones out or something, and you can see the character moving their head with whatever it is. And so, like right now, she's using her phone as a camera, and so you can control the phone. Jesus Christ! Okay. Uh, walk faster. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Hello? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, keep going. Go fast. Go faster. 
Huh? I can't tell like how much faster I'm actually even going with this. But apparently if you hold L1 you go faster. And then Oh Jesus, what is that? Anna. Me too. Anna. <gasps> Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Scary. Spooked. And we're running. No. Although I guess it's not exactly a perfect run because uh, two people have to die <laughs> for this game to happen. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Um, okay. So... Ugh. Creepy. Um... So put it back down. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, I feel uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Uh, definitely the scarecrow, because it's a creepy scarecrow. Let's see, the scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Uh, no, I wouldn't, would not. Oh no, why not? Why not? 
I'd be lonely. I'd be lonely. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Okay. That part is really interesting. It feels like the game is calling me out for enjoying playing this horror game. Um, and I think uh, it was one of the Silent Hills that did something similar, where it, it like psychoanalyzed you while you were playing it. And so um, the answer is that I chose when he was talking to me about the picture, they are going to come up later. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be fun. doll and bug thing terrible Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington where Annie Klein was in charge Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, Oof. hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. So I think there are ten chapters to this. Oh, come on. My, my dude. My knife dude. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerous, considerate, adventurous. Hello? Someone there? Hmm. Path to Cable Car Station. 2102. Okay, so I think this is a good place to stop this first episode. Um, we just did the prologue and the opening, so I think we could just kind of pause it here, because I don't want to get these too long, because it gets a little it's a little much I know so um thank you for watching and uh hopefully we'll hopefully you guys are into this anyone watching this will be into this uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you like this and feel free to like leave any like <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that sentence words are hard anyway thank you and uh goodbye